Okay, so this cam configuration turns effortlessly. As you can see, it has roller cams. So these basically roll. No, you cannot you cannot see it. Uh, we have no clicking where is going to be minimal. But there's another problem. The problem here is packaging. Uh, with this with this you can see the valves are, are lying down and if we want to install this in any manner it's going to be a lot bigger if we want to install this into this engine we have to figure out a way how to uh, make room for the valves uh, and I'm not sure how to do it uh, one way is that the valves would be directly behind the cylinder uh, like, like so but inside of course um, which still means that uh, all of this would be one stud further out now, uh, let me show you why I do not want this to happen. You can see in the E30 chassis, right now, uh, the placement is perfect. If uh, the valve train would stick out one stud more out, we would have clearance problems and, of course, no room. Of course I can I can remove this bracing. This would give us one stud more. But I'm really not very happy with this. But in the end we are probably going to have to do it. There will simply be no other way. Okay, so I've decided to go ahead and uh, do the vertical valve uh, system. You can see here how everything works. Yeah, my placeholders for the for the cylinders. Come on. Oh well. This one decided to get stuck. Okay. Anyway, uh, where's the valve? Okay, we are going to place the valve here and the other one on this side so they will be at either, either end of the engine and the the tubing if you can imagine if i wait a minute let me just hold the valve here the tubing will go ah come on okay uh, the tubing is going to go through here and through here you can see the, the bushings uh, mark where the gap is in the cylinders. Uh, so we, we are going to have a 90 degree band here and we are going to have uh, three tubings with 90 degree bands going through here. Which isn't ideal and may, means more work when doing the tubing but hey. So now I'm going to design the valve train and let's see how this turns out. Okay, so I couldn't live good enough alone, so I made this. I like it a lot more, because it's simple. Revised gear train. I made some internal improvements as well, but here it is, it's, it runs a lot smoother and it's simpler, but as far as I can see, I don't know, it 
must run first to see if we can do some improvements, it, if some improvements are necessary. It runs a lot smoother than before, but still not as smooth as I'd like. Further testing needed. Uh, it, it sticks one start more out than before. So let's see how it looks in the car. Okay, so this is actually a lot better than I anticipated. We have clearance. The engine sits nice and tight. Let's see if we can see. Uh, yeah, yeah. The flywheel doesn't align with the the flywheel doesn't align with the drive shaft by one stud which is annoying but the engine sits straight in the car and we are going to improvise something we have enough place enough room for the tubing more or less the same uh, amount of room that you have for the valve train. Since the, the cylinder row is in the middle. Ah, we'll make it work. If the cylinders arrive, we are going to have a blast this week. Okay, this is for today. I see you next time.